I think local church pastor Chris Brooks shares why he's optimistic that things will get better in our country's fight against racism. He, along with local musician Herb Harris Jr. and Lucas Haggerty, are all raising black or biracial sons. They're teaching them how to deal with hatred towards them based on the color of their skin, but share why they believe things will continue to get better. First off, because of my relationship with Christ, that gives me hope, my faith. But I also have hope because of the history of this country. Whenever we have had conversations like this, hard, tough conversations about the brokenness of our structures and our systems, we've improved those systems. I have hope because the community I live in, I don't see no racism. I'm not, not saying it's not there. I, I don't see none. He has, not, neither of them have come from home from school and told me that any racism type things has happened at school. I think it's just in, in our nature as human beings to, to make progress. And um, if you settle or if you, if you don't grow, I think you die. So I just feel like as, as a human race, we have a, a pool naturally to just progress and, and, and make change. So I know right now is a tough moment for our country, tough moment for cities all over our country, but it's an important moment because now we're having conversations across ethnic lines, across racial lines, across generational lines about some real structural institutional issues that can be changed. And my prayer is that they will be changed and the type of interactions my sons will have my daughters will have will be different than what I've had and different than what my parents had. And if we keep having these tough conversations, I think we can get there. And while these dads teach their black or biracial sons how to deal with racism and the way some people view black men, they're also teaching them how to stand up against hatred towards people from other communities. All people, and as I raise my boys, part of what I want them to do is to understand they have a voice and they have an obligation, even if they're blessed, to avoid some of these more negative or harmful interactions. They need to know that there are others in the communities uh, that are around them that maybe don't get to avoid that. And so they need to use their voice to speak up. I want to model that for them.